Attack Attack was a work made in 2008, um, and it followed a residency that I did in Lahore at the National College of Arts. The research project that I was doing there was about the place of music in Islamic culture, and um, the work was actually made after the residency. The, the video was shot during the residency, the sculptural elements came together afterwards, although some of the objects are kind of were found or acquired in Lahore, like the LED lights and the, um, the Quran box. The work, I guess, was made over a four-month period. So the first thing was seeing this street chef and then being fascinated by, by him and then filming him. And then that became sort of kind of this, the, the element that everything else was sort of composed around. Um, I had the elements that I sort of collected in, in Pakistan, like the Sufi, uh, the Sufi statuette and the Quran box, and then it was really a case of sort of rationalising what these things were and how to kind of put them together. Yeah, so it was kind of a slow process, really. So I had the I had the video of um, the chef preparing the dish, which is called tak tak, and tak tak also refers to the sound that it makes when he when he uh, prepares it. And then I was all, at the same time I was, you know, I was discovering these sort of technical things about generating sounds with LED lights and well, fairy lights and electricity and stuff. Uh, so there was a kind of a technical sort of investigation and a, and a cultural, I guess, investigation, you know. Um, and the two somehow collided. So I wanted to, and because there was such an oral element to this, I wanted to somehow put these two things together, and they kind of made sense to be brought together. Um, uh, so yeah, then it was really a case of combining all the sounds and, 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 and composing with them, you know, finding ways to generate the sounds and then, uh, and then and putting them together and composing with them. the electronic sounds there's two systems that are working together and that's the pulsating LED and the, and the fading LED so when the flashing LED is flashing it creates a sort of pulsating sound because the LEDs are switching on and off uh, from their on state to their off state so that's that creates like a pulsing sound but the red LEDs the fairy lights are just fading from you know fading in and out and that's actually what's technically known as a pulse width modulation so it's basically turning on and off very quickly basically two LEDs that are connected to the amplifier um, actually from their positive and negative points and when you when you amplify that you hear a sound you hear the sound of the electricity passing through them so those two sounds together create the sound here so you hear a kind of a, 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 a buzzing sound which is the fading and a pulsing sound which is the flashing I was interested in how music is sort of um, denoted as this sort of like a bad thing in Islamic culture, whereas in religion itself is very musical. So the call to prayer and and the way the Quran is recited as a musical um, is, is is very musical. So I I brought these elements and the, along with the video, and it's, it's interesting that actually the video is interesting because music and rhythm and performance is kind of so because it's almost sort of forbidden it's so embedded in culture in just everyday life so you see this guy uh, mincing uh, the meat um, on his sort of um, hot plate and the way he minces it is a very sort of rhythmic and performative <laughs> So I found it interesting that this, and this is like an everyday thing, you know, this is a street chef doing this. So I found it interesting that music is so kind of embedded within culture. 
you know, when I say music, I mean like rhythm and tonal variation and these things are so embedded within culture. And um, and I, was, I guess I was interested in whether that was a result of it being sort of forbidden. Um, and there's also Sufis, I guess, which is another, which is another Sufism is another sort of strand of Islamic, um, the Islamic faith, and it's another sect where they actually use music and dance as a means to get close to God. So there was already a contradiction within the sort of schools of thought within Islam, anyway. You know, there's this tradition of the whirling dervishes, which who spin round and and either um, play music, you know, either drum or or play music or just kind of spin um, as a way of kind of getting dizzy and becoming disorientated and it's a way of getting close to God. So this Sufi statuette is kind of a reference to this idea that um, there is sort of I, uh, parts of the of, of Islamic faith that, are, that really embrace music. Um, and obviously, you know, he's on this turntable just spinning. Uh, so there's that kind of direct reference, but then, you know, there's a technical thing that the radio, where the where the rhythm sound comes out from, is also kind of spinning. So it creates this sort of um, sweeping sound of the rhythm, and then you somehow maybe make a connection between the drumming of a souf, you know, of the, of of a, of a traditional drum and the and the rhythm of a, of the chopping.